So since we have understood uh, what is modularity, let us see how we can use modularity for community detection. Okay? So, so uh, you know, uh, it's uh, so there are actually lots of algorithms which used modularity for community uh, detection, uh, be it decision community or overlapping community. But here we will discuss only two algorithms which are uh, very famous. One is called first greedy algorithm, another is Lubin method. Okay, so first greedy uh, first greedy algorithm uh, is uh, proposed by uh, again Newman and his team. So here the idea is very simple. You have a network like this, and remember our quality metric is Q. We try to maximize Q. Okay, and uh, uh, how to start? So we basically start by assigning, you know, um, all nodes with individual communities. Okay, you see here the colors indicate different communities. Uh, each of the node belongs to a separate community. So there are nine nodes and nine different communities. Okay, and what we do, we then start clubbing nodes into groups, right? And how do we club? We how do we decide uh, when to club, when not to club? So we decide based on this uh, uh, modularity formula. Okay, so let's say we start from one. Okay, so we start from one, and um, we know that uh, you know the node uh, the. Uh, we, we, we start from 1, right? This is this is uh, node 1, and we know that this is connected to this one, this one, and this one, okay? So, this node is connected to this one, this node, and uh, and let us say this node, uh, let us say this node, okay? Does not matter. So, what we will do? We will, we will actually place this edge, we will add this edge. So, we start, we start by you know by taking only the nodes right we start by taking only the nodes without any edges right so nodes are there and nodes belong to different different communities and then we start from a seed node so let's say this is a seed node okay and then we see that the seed node the seed nodes is connected to which other nodes so it is connected to this one it is connected to this one and it is connected to this one okay so we add this edge Okay, and we assume that the other node, right, also belongs to the same community where node i, node one belongs to, right? As if you are grouping these two nodes. Once you group these nodes, these two nodes, you can measure Q now because now you have this community and all the other nodes belong to different different communities. So this is option one. What is option two? And let's say option one produces modularity point eight. What is option two? Option two, uh, you know, in option two, you now connect these two nodes because you know that one is connected to this one. So let's connect this one, and let's club this together. You can measure Q. Say let's say Q is 0.7, and you connect this to say this one, right? Uh, the, then then you uh, club, and Q would be say 0.3. So the, there are three options, okay? Because node one, the, the, the seed node has three connections, right? So which one produces the best uh, uh, Q value? This one, right? So I freeze this one. So I freeze this group, right? So I freeze that this node now belongs to the same community where this node belongs to, okay? So once we are done, then we'll take the now, now in in our uh, in our hand, we have two nodes, right? And their associated edges, their associated. So now these two nodes are clubbed. We also have now we have their associated edges. We repeat the same process, right? So we 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 take uh, we we connect an edge. We connect two nodes by an edge, group it, check the quality, and we freeze that 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 group for which the Q is maximum. Okay. Now we keep on doing this thing until and unless we see that the Q value decreases. So this is iteration one, this is iteration two. We'll have iteration three, right? So iteration two, we'll see the maximum. Let's see. Let's assume that the maximum modularity value is 0 0.7, 0 0.8, 0 0.85. In iteration three, 
you will see that the maximum modulity value ca can be 0 0.7 right so you will not proceed you will stop here so you start from a particular seed node and you stop here and we take the best grouping which you obtain in this iteration okay so this is this is the first step now again let's look at let's take another seed node right which has not been chosen or not been encountered so far okay so we you now now you choose another seed node and you repeat the process and we basically we keep on repeating the process until unless we see that you know all the all the nodes have been encountered and q value reaches its uh, maximal uh, value right now this is greedy algorithm this is fast greedy right this is greedy algorithm so th there is no guarantee that it will actually reach the optimal solution the maximum q value but you know in practice this this works pretty well now as you understand fast greedy uh, you know has problems like uh, uh, this is kind of very ad hoc way and you also need to decide um, you have different realizations right you have different iterations so this this has problems so in 2008-2009, uh, if I remember correctly, this method was proposed, Leuven method, Leuven algorithm, which is I think by far one of the best methods uh, for disjoint community detection using modularity maximization. Okay, so in Leuven, Leuven method, there are two steps. The first step is called modularity uh, optimization, and the second step is called community aggregation. So at every iteration, we'll have these two steps: modularity maximization, community aggregation, right? So let's see how how uh, this uh, method works. So this is the network. What we do here, we basically, you know, start off by uh, you know again adding uh, assigning nodes into different communities, okay? And then we again start with a particular node. Let's say we start with this node. Okay, so and what what you do, the in the same way, the way we actually did uh, in the, the grouping in case of first greedy, here also we do the same thing. But here we will not remove all the edges and then we start adding. We'll not do that. What we'll do, we'll keep the actual graph. Okay, and let's say this is our seed node. Okay, and then we we say you know. Say the seed node has this neighbor, this this one, and we have th three neighbors. So we group the this neighbor, we group this neighbor, and we group this this neighbors, right? In the same manner, and then we see that for which grouping the modulity value is maximum. Let's say, let's say, you know, with this grouping, with this grouping, the modulity value is maximum. We freeze it, okay? Then in our plate now we have two nodes and their neighbors we keep on grouping we keep on grouping by maximizing modularity right and let's say let us assume that uh, uh, from this seed node we get a group like this okay then we against uh, choose another seed node which has not been explored so far and we th then we keep on grouping choose another seed node and group choose another seed node and group Okay, so then we see that we reach the maximum modularity value. Okay, so this is our uh, uh, grouping after modularity uh, maximization. Okay, so you see that there are four colors indicating four groups. Okay, in the six in in in, in the second uh, you know uh, stage, we use something called community aggregation. So what is community aggregation? In community aggregation, we freeze. A particular community into a node. We call this node as a super node. So we create a super network. This is a super network, right? A summarized network where each node indicates a community that we obtained earlier. Right? So we have this this community as a node here, this green green node. We have this as a node here, this red community as a node here, and this this as a node here. Okay, and how do we connect these nodes? So, number of edges within a community, intra-community edges, will basically be denoted by 
self loop and the weight of this self loop is the number of intra community edges within this green uh, community and between between this green and sky communities right so we have edges right and th th this edge and the edge has a weight right and this weight is basically the number of inter community edges between green community and blue community uh, sky community similarly we draw edges for the other uh, network for the other nodes other super nodes so this is our super community uh, super network now in this super network we will again repeat the same process modularity optimization and community aggregation let's say in the, so in the first pass we have two steps in the second pass also we have two steps right let's assume that uh, after the second pass we have this kind of uh, summarized super network okay we again repeat the same process right remember at every stage we have certain q value this is q1 modular value this is q2 right after step stage 3 we have q3 when do we stop we stop when we see that at two consecutive uh, passes the modulity value will not increase so this is 0.7 this is 0.8 but say this is 0.6 so we actually stop here so we now we know that there are two communities the green community and this 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 as uh, you know ash color community okay then we unfold it because we know this is a super node and the super node was formed based on say these two nodes in the previous iteration and these two nodes are formed based on these two communities right so it it basically means that you know this community this community should have these nodes and these nodes this community should have these nodes and these nodes together okay you keep on aggregating you you stop when uh, there is no further improvement uh, right you stop there and then you unfold it to get the actual community structure remember using this process you also explore the hierarchical structure because you want to stop here let's say you want to get four communities right and the four communities have already been uh, obtained so we stop we can also stop here but if you want to club you know uh, cl club nodes into groups uh, you know and so on and so for you keep cl keep clubbing keep grouping then you can you, you can go on until unless you see that modularity value uh, modularity value will not increase further okay so this is luven method now let's try to understand the limitations of modularity maximization so there's a very interesting paper which uh, talks about uh you know limits of modularity maximization and there are three essentially three limitations so the first limitation is called resolution limit what is resolution limit Re resolution limit is a problem of modularity maximization algorithm now modularity maximization can be done using luven using fast greedy using some other methods right you can also do it exhaustively the problem in resol in, in modularity maximization is that these kind of algorithms tend to detect uh, large size communities they tend to club small size communities into groups into into bigger groups right a best example is a uh, ring of clicks okay let's say let's say uh, these are five clicks remember these are clicks so you, so you, you have nodes and they are completely connected clicks okay and let's say this is Uh, the 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 size of the click is four, for example. So all these clicks are of size four, four nodes, and they are connected. So this is a this is a four size click, and two consecutive clicks are connected by a single edge, like this. Okay, this is called ring of clicks. Ring of clicks. Okay, so. if you run modularity maximization on ring of clicks what would happen is that the algorithm will group clicks two consecutive clicks together to form a bigger community the algorithm won't be able to detect these clicks ideally what what should happen ideally all these clicks should be detected as separate communities right but what the modularity will do modularity will, modularity maximization will 
you know uh, will will club two consecutive clicks into one group and you, you you may end up having you know this kind of communities three communities <coughs> this is called resolution limit you have a limit on the size of the uh, you have a limit on the uh, size of the community structure it won't be able to detect a community community below a certain threshold okay the second problem is called degeneracy of solution meaning that given a particular uh, modulity value q say let's say q is 0.8 right given a maximum modularity value 0.8 say you can have exponentially num exponential number of solutions meaning that say you have a graph g you can create community structure c1 community structure c2 community structure c3 when i say a community structure mean meaning that you have a communities within the community structure you have a groups right c2 has a different community structure c3 has a different community structure you have different community structures with the same modularity value 0.8 say right you have exponential number of community structures with a same modularity value and there is no there is no point in choosing one there is no preference of choosing one community over another because all the community structures uh, are, are giving same value same modularity values q so there is no preference of choosing one community structure over another that that should not happen right so it should always detect a unique solution ideally which also produces the uh, maximum you know q value so this is called degeneracy of solution these two limits uh, limitations are the major limitations there is another limitation called asymptotic growth okay asymptotic growth what is asymptotic growth it basically says that let's say you have a network right uh, a kind of a self similar network like this uh, right like this so let's say you have a network like this so let me draw it afresh so let's say you have a network like this where the network is growing symmetrically the network is growing symmetrically like this okay you have same structure click and they are further growing this is another click another click and the four click right like this a four click four click like this the network is growing symmetrically ideally what should happen ideally since it is growing symmetrically the q value should not increase okay but what happens is that as you increase the size of the network q value also increases so you see that if you plot q value this is q value and this is number of nodes number of nodes you will see that as the node size at the size of the network increases the q value starts increasing it should not happen right so this this is called um, uh, the the um, asymptotic growth uh, of uh, the uh, value of the modularity okay so these are the three limitations of uh, modularity maximization we stop here so in the next lecture we will discuss other methods we will see some other so some better metrics that uh, i mean one can use to detect you know community structure thank you mm -hmm.